Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so excited for our next session. You guys, this is the Art of Confidence event, how to build unstoppable confidence and skyrocket your revenue. Now, I say that, and my next guest is um, going to probably touch more than just your pocketbook because it goes really deep. Arno Garan uh, was raised by two deaf crack addicts, left for dead at age 22. And after healing himself, he created programs that show others exactly how to do the same thing. He's the inventor of the Garan technique. It's a proven method to permanently release um, any old emotion, trauma, um, or repeat negative thinking. And the reason I say he's going to touch more than just how to make money and build confidence is because you guys, this is about us, right? And how to build something that truly serves you and in, in such a deep way. He's the founder of the Arno Garand seminars, and he has changed lives of thousands of people all over the world. Arno, welcome. Thank you so much for being here, my friend. Tell me a little bit more. That was a pretty punchy line. Um, tell me a little bit about your background. Thank you, Nicole. Well, yeah. like you said, both, both my parents are deaf and had a horrible drug addiction throughout my childhood. I experienced extreme levels of child abuse. And as a result, I found myself very sick uh, throughout my childhood and into my early 20s, when finally every doctor I could find in a phone book of every kind of medicine had told me I would never get better, that I was already on the strongest medication, that there was nothing they could do, that I would have to learn to live with the pain. And then finally, my last naturopathic doctor told me, Arno, if you don't do something different soon, you're not going to be around much longer. I was only 22 years old. Wow. And here I was being told by literally the last doctor I could even think of to go to that I was going to die. <laughs> so, okay, right. so we have a good bill of health. Yeah. That seems pretty weighty. So yeah, where'd you go from there? Well, I had already tried everything that every doctor told me to do. And I didn't have anything left to do but just to pray and ask for help. And within a short amount of time, I began to discover some knowledge about how the body works that surprisingly no doctors knew about. And so I just went down this very long rabbit hole where I spent months and months and months living on credit cards and just reading books all day, every day, and just consuming information and figuring out how I was going to teach everyone from the very get-go. I healed myself in less than six months. And I started teaching my first workshop on health uh, in 2001, but then I began to experience the severe emotional weight from all the trauma I had been through, and I knew I needed to go in that direction. So the first was a physical healing, or was it combined? So first it was the body. First. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first it was the body. And when I started teaching, my course was really about how to fix the body. And it took me 14 years of teaching, researching, teaching, researching, teaching, researching, and finally to create my masterpiece on how to heal the body, recorded everything, edited everything, spent tons of money building an online university, and now anyone can access that entire training. And then I took the mental health part of it out and made it its own separate program because it was all interwoven up until 2015. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So we started with the, the body. And then I imagine when you, when you start talking about the emotional weight, what, what was that like? And I'm, you're not even a doctor. Like, how did you figure this out with, you know, without a degree? I don't can't believe that that's even possible. I'm kidding. But um, yeah, tell me a little bit more about the journey. Well, in the beginning, as I was getting healthy physically, my body was detoxing, releasing all kinds of poison. And I started to have old emotion coming up. Like I started to feel angry for no reason. Mm -hmm. And I knew it was like my cells had anger inside and they just needed to come out, but I didn't know how to deal with that. But I did know that someday I would learn how to go into like this giant bag of bricks that I had accumulated throughout my life and take mm -hmm. them out. So I started my research then. And as I did, I found that everyone said, you can't, that there is no way. I'm actually really glad I didn't get my degree in psychology. I took a lot of psych courses in college. I did seven years of university, but I didn't go all the way down that psych path. And I'm glad because worldwide in any university, they're going to teach you in psychology that you can't do it. They're going to show you proof that you can't do it. And a lot of people go get their degree in psychology and learn a limiting belief. 
And see, the thing is, when I was told I was going to die, or when I was told you can't get rid of your negative emotions, I had the same attitude, which was, well, just because you don't know how to do it, doesn't mean it can't be done. It just means you don't know how to do it. And I didn't care that they were a doctor of Chinese medicine, or of naturopathic medicine, or a Western medical doctor, or a psychologist, or a therapist, or the biggest seminar leader in the world, and they had 10,000 best-selling books. It didn't matter what their credentials were. If they said it couldn't be done, that was the end of that. I would moved on to someone else who might know something else until I figured out how to do it. I love that, that determination. And I, I can imagine, and probably myself included, have been told things and you just take it at face value. Okay, well, I guess not, right? Um, but I would imagine being faced with literally with death and like, okay, I'm not ready to kind of give up. You just haven't found the right way. How awesome is it that you just persevered through that? So um, the when we think about confidence and, and getting to this place, um, it feels like what you discovered really is an inside job, right? And, and building this and uncovering what healthy looked like and getting to that place. Tell me a little bit about that for you and how you cracked that, that nut. What do you do with clients now? Mm, what do I do with clients now? Well, most of my clients go through my program and then in other words, they take my courses. So the average client would probably watch an introductory webinar, learn about the greatest breakthrough in the history of mental health, the Garand technique, sign up for a three-day weekend, which they can watch on their own because it's all edited and recorded, and then take the course with me live on Zoom or with one of my instructors. I have a great team of instructors now. And then they would probably just continue on. I have 29 courses. So the grand technique is actually just the beginning of my training and development program. Mm -hmm. When I do private sessions, I require a three-month minimum agreement, pay all up front, and we work together for 13 hours, which could be every week for th three months, or it could be extended. And it's a lot of fun for me because we delve into all areas of life, including building confidence. Awesome. So if I tried to sneak in a, you know, 15 minute session with you now, and I said, I want to build confidence. What does that look like? How would you guide me? What should I be thinking about, you know, of truly building confidence? Because here's my thing. People tell you all the time, you just need to have the confidence and go do the thing and you'll be successful. My experience has not been that. Um, I look confident. I'm scared to death. I have tried a ton of things, coaching, meditation, you know, thinking what's wrong with me, you know, going this whole gamut. Um, and I found some things that have worked, but kind of like you, it's not necessarily been the traditional path. And I don't think you can just muster confidence. Like there's some work that you get to do. What does that work look like? That is so true. My martial arts master said that there's um, to, there's always inside and outside for everything. There's mm -hmm. internal and external, up and down, hot and cold, black and white for everything. He also said that confidence is knowing. So if you know what you're doing because you've practiced and proven to yourself, you can do it, you have confidence, you can do whatever that thing is. But that's external confidence. Internal confidence is when you have erased all of the doubt, fear, and other limiting feelings and beliefs you have inside. And you could be a billionaire and still be afraid of losing money. So you can have all the external proof that you should be confident in the world. And you can try to use your willpower to say, look, I've done all this. I must be a successful person. But inside, you still have that crap. Mm -hmm. So we need to go inside and remove that stuff. And honestly, it's better to start there and remove the blockages to your self-confidence. Because then whenever you go and try to do something externally, you're not trying to overcome those things. It's much easier to learn a strategy and master it and then develop confidence in whatever that strategy is. And on top of that, generally, when you talk to people who teach workshops on how to make money or how to be successful, their biggest challenge is that their students don't follow through, don't do the, the, the exercises, don't take the steps, don't take the actions, get afraid to make the phone call, and they get blocked by their own internal issues. So working on that is the key to being successful. Yeah, I, I sometimes I share too much information. I won't go too deep, but, but about two years ago, I hired a business coach. I'm like, hey, I'm in this cycle and I'll do this thing. And then I move to the next and I move to the next and it's usually the same three opportunities and I never get where I want. 
And he asked me, he's like, are you ready to do the work? I'm like, oh yeah, sure. You know, I'm thinking he's going to teach me some strategy, some new technique. You know, I need to post on social media at just the right time or whatever. And quickly our sessions got into the real work. And it was about that internal um And I would say we didn't get to erasure. So I'm really um, interested in this technique because so much is imprinted. And I do believe that in our subconscious, you know, that it's over time. It's the people, the experiences, you know, I'm 51, like you kind of get things built up over time. And if you don't take the trash out, how are you going to layer something good on top of, you know, that we all have trauma. It doesn't have to be, I mean, your situation tough. It could just be people telling us no for 50 years, right? Like, how do we erase that? And I'm I'm a bit of a skeptic. I'm from Missouri. Like, what does it feel like then to have that erased? Like, how do you, I don't, <laughs> how do you do it? I can't even fathom, honestly, being able to just erase it. Cause yeah, I have a vision and I would love to just have a blank slate to start with again. It took me two years from the time that I knew I needed to start researching and figuring out how to erase these patterns to actually figure it out. Mm -hmm. And then it took me seven years to figure out how to teach it so that every person in the audience would understand it. And more importantly, be able to do it on their own. Mm -hmm. It does take a full three days of training. And often people take it, they get it, they're like, they're doing it and then they need to take the course again or take more courses to understand it at a deeper level Mm -hmm. you already have some you know background you've already tried to work on yourself but you haven't found a method that actually removed things permanently and it sounds like you're excited about the idea that it's actually possible now which should be one of the most exciting things ever because it means you can permanently erase your procrastination you can remove whatever that stuff is that's been holding you back all this time and what does it feel like that was one of your questions well it depends on you at first (laughs) at first you just it's like you wake up the next day and it never existed, whatever that particular issue is that you erase. So if, let's say you have a thing where you like, you doubt yourself, and then you just don't take action and you feel frozen. The mm-hmm. next, and you erase that. The next day you wake up, it's like that never was there. You're just like doing it. You're like, oh, that's right. I used to doubt myself and be frozen. Huh. It's, it's like gone. Yeah, yeah, it's just gone. Huh. Oh boy. It's hard for me to imagine, honestly. Um, kind of being free of that. So as people work through this, it sounds like it's really quick. Like who wants to sit in therapy for years? If it's three days, I can figure, you know, figure this out and then keep at least get the beginnings going. Right. And get that. Um, yeah. Wow. (laughs) So getting something done in, in the quick time and recognizing that and having, so much more available to you, obviously is going to lead to confidence. Um, so what I, I do, I need to work directly with you. This is all online. Like it just, can you tell I'm kind of like, holy crap, this could be really good. Yeah. Well, you can work directly with me. My schedule is very full. I only take a few clients. It's 25,000 for three months. It's all up front, no promises, no guarantees. If you change your whole life, that's not my fault. Totally on you to produce your own results. I'll be your guide. And I also require you to take the courses as we go along, and that's not included. Most people are going to want to just sign up for my course online, watch the video on their own. If they get stuck, it comes with a half-hour consultation with one of my practitioners that I've trained so they can help you figure it out. Because the human mind, it can be tricky. Right, you might have a, a unconscious program that nothing's ever going to work for you, mm-hmm. and then when you learn, you learn how to actually have everything work for you. Then that programming comes to the surface, and it's like, uh, but nothing works for me. <laughs> and you might need someone to help you move I through that, that and erase that. Right, so that's why we give you a half hour coaching session included with the course, and then you can take the course with me. The next one, I'm going to teach it myself. It's at the end of August on Zoom. From there, you'll know how to do it. You can hire a coach, you can work with someone from the course regularly and just have a a clearing buddy, we call it, and start going through your layers because you're going to have layers of stuff to go through. And how many layers you have is individual. I might have had 
10 million and you might have had, you might only have a thousand and someone else might only have 200. So how long it takes you to work through your blockages to achieving a certain goal is very unique to you and to that goal. The average time to clear one layer is about 20 minutes and it's gone forever versus talking to someone about your problems for 10 years and they're all still there. Well, and that's, I mean, you, I think you mentioned the chemical, I mean, like this is in our brain. You say, you talk about stuff. This is the thing I've never gotten and I'm starting to get is you get, you go in therapy and you talk about the thing. And we, I've now learned every time I talk about something, it is releasing chemicals in my brain that are reinforcing just as if the thing was happening again. So instead of clearing it out, I'm actually reinforcing that feeling. And, and I'm pretty much destined to repeat the past in my present because I'm feeling the same things of the past. I'm triggered. And so, you know, being able to get rid of that so powerfully um, and, and it being a root cause and a root cause eradication instead of just putting another Band-Aid or even amplifying that feeling, you know, um, I don't know how many of you guys have been in therapy or counseling or whatever. And it's like, you feel better in the moment, but then those things tend to come back. Um, I love it. Are there um, any things that you advise like to prepare in coming to do this work or does it really just show up as you are? Like, what do people need to prepare themselves for? Be prepared that it's going to work. You know, the, the biggest challenge for each individual is they've lived their whole life to become who they are and nothing has ever worked before. Mm -hmm. I have so many stories of clients that are something like this. I've been in therapy for 10 years. I've mm -hmm. taken every course you can imagine. I've read every book. I've gone to Peru and done ayahuasca. I've tried every shaman you can find. I've, mm -hmm. I'm a master of NLP and hypnotherapy. I've done uh, EFT. I've done access consciousness bars. I've done matrix energetics. I'm a certified life coach through four programs. I'm a Reiki master. And I don't know, I do Qigong and yoga too. And nothing has ever worked until I met you. And then, you know, they'll say, I spent a hundred thousand dollars doing all of that stuff. Oh, yeah. and, and I've had depression my whole life and now I don't have depression. Now I'm making more money than ever. My husband and I are getting along great. I've lost 60 pounds. Like these are normal testimonials from my program, but people come in very skeptical on the very first day of training. I can sense that the audience is skeptical. Like really, is this really going to work? Or we have scientific studies to prove it works. We're working with boards of mental health. We have thousands of testimonials already. It works. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, it works. I love it. Yeah. yeah. So huh. be prepared to transform your life. I mean, I remember I was teaching in 2018 and this woman came up to me and said, I've been in therapy since I was 12. It's been over 50 years. And I've been dealing with the same rock of pain that's been burning in my stomach for 50 years. And I just erased it and it's gone. And then she started crying. It's like, is this really real? Is it really gone? Yeah, it's really gone. Tomorrow, it's not going to be there. Next week, it's not going to be there. It's never going to be there again. I love that. Um, just thinking about, you know, the the gravity. I'm talking about business and how do we get successful and to me, that's just a small piece. Like when you talk about the impact um, that you're having in people's lives with their mental health, right? The challenges that we face and struggling day to day. And typically those things don't get any smaller. They just continue to compound. And, um, you know, I've certainly been in that space myself, have had family members that you really just want to really to, to change their lives. Like it's such and it's a, it's a scary place to be too, when you don't understand what's happening with you, you know, a physical ailment or, or, you know, that's when they go to the doctor, you take a pill, hopefully, you know, the cold gets better, but, um, mental health, we don't see the same things, you know, in traditional treatments and outcomes that are, um, favorable a lot of times, right. It's usually, you're going to take a pill for the rest of your life and, um, you know, join the crowd. We'll all be good and, and sedated and it'll be happy times. Ugh. Sorry. I'm just thinking about, um, I'm thinking about my family and how I would, I just really want to see how this works. So, um, count me in for figuring out what the grand technique can do. 
when we think about the confidence piece, building that inner confidence, um, and then do you get rid of, it's not the external, like how do the two, the internal and the external tie together with this? Um, is it that we just don't need to worry about the external anymore because it is from within or how do they play on each other and, and move forward? So I'm teaching a class called More Money right now. It's a follow-up to the Grand Technique weekend where we master the Grand Technique and apply it to money. But I actually teach a lot outside of just using the Grand Technique to erase our internal blockages to being able to receive money. So the first principle of wealth is if you have unconscious thoughts and feelings that say money is bad, you're not going to attract or keep money, which is why 95% of people who win the lottery go bankrupt because mm -hmm. unconsciously they don't, they can't have it. They, they put it all away, push it all away, even though they don't want to and end up with nothing, right? That's success principle number one. That's internal, work on the internal. Success principle number two is once you figure out how you want to make money, pick a, a strategy and then learn from people who are successful in that strategy how to do it from them. Learn their formula, learn their recipe. If you want to bake a cake, you don't just go and start making it up. You find a chef who has a recipe. You taste the recipe and say, oh, this is really good. I want to learn how to make this. Then you maybe take their class, read their book, follow their recipe. And when you screw it up, go back to them and say, um, I messed it up. What did I do wrong? Until you can actually make the cake. And then you've learned how to do it. Now you have the external confidence that you can make that cake. So that's the same thing for real estate investing, stock option trading, building an online business, building an Amazon store, doing network marketing, being a coach, like whatever strategy you pick, you need to learn from someone who is successful at it, how to do it. And don't try to reinvent the wheel. And what's going to probably happen is you're going to start doing it and then get stuck. And that's when you pull out your grand technique and you start to erase what's causing you to procrastinate or be stuck. And I actually have developed three magic questions to help you find what's blocking you. And then you clear that stuff and you keep going until you finally succeed in that strategy that you've picked. And once you've mastered it, you've not just mastered one strategy and built your confidence that you're good at X, Y, and Z, but you've also mastered your own ability to be good at something, awesome. to master something, and then you can pick something else. Yeah. To go back to your martial arts um, reference, it's Shu Ha Ri, right? At Shu, you need the recipe. At Ha, you understand the recipe and can tweak it. And at Ri, you you get it and you can start to write your own recipes, right? But it, it takes that progression of learning the skill, mastering the skill, and reinventing the skill for sure to get us there. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Wow. In martial arts, there's, there's a saying, which is from formlessness comes form and from form comes formlessness. So at first you have nothing, you know nothing. So you create structure, you create a strategy, you create a form, which is like a pattern of movements. And then once you master the form, then it starts to free flow and you don't need the structure anymore. You just have it and it now just goes into uh, just free expression and not the level of mastery you want to get to in whatever money-making strategy that you have. Absolutely. All right. So we're going to build the, the internal confidence so we can create our own um, mastery, whether it's money or business or family relationships, or even if it's just for your yourself, right? Just for me, um, having these techniques to grow and learn. Arno, thank you so much for, for sharing. Um, I want to encourage you guys all to check out the grand technique. And um, you said you have your book out on your website. We'll put all the links. You guys don't have to write them down, but we'll get the link for that. And your book is um, the book excerpt. Is that right? Is on the website. If so you go to our yeah, if you go to arnograndseminars.com, there's two things you can have for free. You can sign up for a free webinar where I'll tell you about the greatest breakthrough in the history of mental health. And then I'll tell you about the three-day weekend. Or at the very bottom of my homepage, there's my newest book, The Magical Manifesting Guidebook, which is a workbook that guides you through to achieving your number one goal. It's free for now. For now. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine you put a lot of work into that and you it's been this has been a 20-year endeavor for you so this isn't something you know brand new he's put a lot a lot of research into and practice and developing with 
with clients. So thank you for being here and sharing. I actually am kind of like, wow, um, I can't wait to read more and to dive in uh, because this feels like a key, you know, something you try, you try, you try. And I think um, for our audience, you know, female entrepreneurs, we're all in this. And one of the reasons I wanted to bring Arno into this group was because it was different. Like everything doesn't have to be stepwise and hard. Sometimes the, the best and the most impactful things that we can do are simple. Um, doesn't mean sim simple is not easy, right? But there's a whole method to this. So um, definitely encourage you to reach out. And Arno, I invite you to come in and be in our community. Um, I am fierce. We're going to, I am going to lead um, through this path and introduce, would love to, to attend your webinar and learn a little bit more. Invite the audience to come and do that with me and explore these different techniques just to help us level up. So thank you so much for being here. Enjoy the rest of your day. Um, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you, Nicole. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Uh, yes.